In this video, we're going to start with uh, this circuit here. So this is a 555 timer, the NE555 timer, wired in a stable mode. So the output just keeps flashing high and low. The uh, speed is mostly determined, one thing, by the uh, capacitor, but also the light-dependent resistor here. So its resistance changes as light falls on it. I get a uh, brighter light on it. You see it goes flasher. I zoom in the light so that it's more intense. It flashes even faster right there. Now, of course, I can uh, pop out the uh, capacitor and put in a lower value capacitor. It will go faster. So this is a 47 microfarad capacitor. There you can see it's going faster just with uh, the regular light. I get the flashlight on it, zoom in and uh, even faster there so actually I accidentally set the flashlight to a lower setting but uh, in any case there it's flashing so fast it looks like it is on so for this video we are going to uh, go back to the uh, 470 microfarad capacitor and uh, I'll try to remember to link the other video I did on this circuit I did a step-by-step -step build and everything for this video there we go. We are going to focus on making this an amp or uh, audio circuit, I should say, right there. So I have the speaker here, and it has a positive and a negative side. I just clipped alligator clips to them. I have these uh, jumpers that I crimped the alligator clips to. So I can just plug it into the board wherever I want. Pretty easy. Now, for, for this, though, I don't want to make the 555 timer power it. It is an 8 ohm speaker, which is common, and a half a watt right there. And so I don't want to make the 555 timer have to power half a watt. And so I have here an NPN bipolar junction transistor. And so it's pin layout, emitter on the left, base in the middle, collector on the right. And this can handle up to about 600 milliamps of current. And I think it's also a half watt. That could be wrong, though, on the wattage. But uh, I'm pretty sure it can handle about 600 milliamps of current. Plus, it doesn't have to handle that all the time. As you can see, this is off most of the time right now. But uh, So we'll get brief periods where it's on. That will reduce the amount of power it will have to handle. I'm going to take a 1,000 ohm resistor because we're going to use fairly high current here and we're going to get a signal from the 555 timer output right there, same one that the LED is getting and uh, that's turning the transistor on and off once well current can flow through the base 2 emitter with just a 0.6 volt drop but once we connect the uh, load which is the speaker to the positive side and then to the collector there then the transistor will be turning the load on and off and when we see that pulse, that is when the transistor will be on. When the light is off, the transistor will be off. And so, now all I have to do is take the uh, speaker, and it should sit uh, pretty nicely this way. Let's tack, to avoid uh, making any short circuits, let's uh, tack that into place there. So, I'm going to put this, as I said, to the collector right there, and then the red uh, jumper. Usually I work positive down towards negative but uh, since it's naturally over here we will plug this over here and there you can hear a double click it's clicking when the LED turns on and it's clicking when the LED goes off when the output goes high and when the output goes low so the speaker has a uh, magnet and coils and that moves the I think it moves the uh, magnet either no the coil uh, either forward or back and it has the cone there and so it's moving one direction and coming back to the center you could alternate the current too and then it will bounce both directions but uh, now it's going one way and then coming back to center so you're hearing a couple uh, clicks and just like with the LED those clicks are going to go down as I increase resistance which increases the time it takes the capacitor to uh, discharge now 
we'll get the light ink in here a lot quicker clicks right there so all this can really do with this capacitor is click so I'm gonna pull this because when we yank this capacitor we'll see the output goes high and stays high which is okay for the LED but I don't want steady current going through uh, the speaker here and uh, so I'll just quickly disconnect it we are gonna take a 47 microfarad uh, capacitor right there and uh, this was the only other value capacitor I used in my other video so there you can see now it's flashing 10 times faster and uh, approximately 10 times faster and so now we will add the speaker again remember this sides towards positive or connected to the positive rail this is going to the transistor which is going to uh, that jumper when the transistor is on there you can hear it clicking and of course again I think we're still only in the click range but you can hear the click and I think we're starting to maybe get a tone but for the most part we are getting click so I'm not big into audio electronics and I don't really have the terminology down but uh, in case you could pretty much always tell that it was a series of clicks and so let's uh, see how the 555 timer can do by itself without the transistor amplifying okay it's doing uh, pretty well right now so I'm not sure how how hard that is on the uh, maximum power that the 555 timer can do but uh, it did pretty well there so we're powering two loads though that is the other problem if I try to do the LED and the speaker at the same time you can see that, that things are thrown off so I want to keep the LED and the speaker separate and so just a weak signal to the transistor will turn the transistor on and off without affecting the LED in any significant way so so we have that that's with 47 microfarad we can go down lower 2.2 microfarad and we have the light dependent resistor we change its value by the light the uh, actual capacitors I don't have any capacitors that are variable they're all fixed capacitors but I have a wide uh, range of uh, capacitors so now the LED looks like it is steadily on it is, it is uh, flashing on and off though let's uh so yeah right now we're at the point where it's really okay there now we can see flashes but uh, when it goes faster it just looks dimmer so you can see like how bright it is if I get a little shadow on there it looks dimmer until you see the uh, flash but in any case now we have a tone unless I get this dark enough right there and so that is with a 2.2 microfarad capacitor and now we're gonna go even smaller so this is a 0.1 microfarad or a uh, 100 nanofarad uh, capacitor depending on the uh, rating and so I'm going to uh, slip that into there there we go so now I don't think we can get it dark enough where it'll look like it's flashing it's just uh, brightness and uh, so it's kind of fluttering there but in any case that is going so fast now we have a high pitched tone and if I get the uh, flashlight so right now it's kind of a wide beam right there I can barely hear that it's I got uh, some ear damage and uh, so I can't hear that tone maybe you can but I can't hear that and this is uh, gonna go faster and even higher pitch tone so at some point hopefully you couldn't hear that anymore I'm hoping my hearing is not that bad but in case you can see we can change the tone and so I'm gonna set the uh, brightness of the lamp a little bit lower so each time the tone changed I changed the brightness a little bit and uh, so we can take the 555 timer that was getting really annoying and uh, and change the uh, tones 
and let's see if it's that loud if I put it directly to the output so there's a lot of just small changes you can make that make a big difference so yeah looks like it's probably powering it just fine directly from the 555 timer we didn't really need the transistor but we were using that LED too and that robs too much of the signal from the LED if we try to power them both directly from the 555 timer right there so in any case it's that easy to uh, substitute a speaker for an LED or other load and this isn't uh, the best setup but uh, but it works as you can see we could demonstrate it some people are really into audio electronics and uh, there's just a wide range of electronics and so different people have different interests but the basics are uh, the same so it's not a bad idea to learn all the different things that you can do with electronics so in any case hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video